day, people. This is Sharp Pino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 17 of the Pokemon Stadium Weekend Let's Play. If you guys are still excited for this series, fantastic, and I do appreciate it. I really do. I just personally want to say thank you very much to those who do take the time to watch your videos because I do appreciate it. I'm not a big YouTuber like a lot of people that do Pokemon, but any attention you guys give to me, I do appreciate. And every time you hit the like button, and every time you hit the subscribe button, I seriously want to just say thank you. I really do, because I do appreciate it. So if you guys are excited for this episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the like button down below for us, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we managed to go through some bullshit shenanigans with the Prime Cup, finishing off and everything else. Um, and we managed to get through it with no problem. Oh, I mean, we had a lot of problems, but we managed to get through it nonetheless. This episode, we are going to tackle the Kanto League for the second time and bring this Let's Play to an end because unfortunately, all Let's Plays must come to an end. But I've enjoyed every single minute to it and I love it. And I only do it for you guys. I mean, I do it for myself because I love to make videos. But if I can make one person honestly uh, smile or laugh or just feel good about, you know, their love for Pokemon, or just themselves even. Um, I'm a happy guy, because like, all I want to do is spread my happiness to everyone. I know that sounds gay as shit, but that's honestly how I am. I might swear here and there, but all I want to do is just live in such a happy, positive environment. That's how I think everyone should live. But let's not get too sappy at the start of the episode. Let's go ahead and have a look at the Gym Leader Castle. So we're starting from scratch, from the bottom here. With Brock's gym. Now, like I said in the um, the Prime Cup episode of two episodes ago, we have so many my gems here. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and use the other level 100 team. So, this is the first team that we used for the first round of uh, the Canter League and the round two of Prime Cup. This is the actual uh, team we'll be using for this uh, episode today. So, we have uh, Deku Bush the Venusaur with Growth Leak Seed Mega Drain Sleep Powder. We have Yondame Hokage! The uh, Gengar with Thunderbolt Confuse Rate, Mega Drain, and Psychic. We have Leviathan, the Gyarados with Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, Ice Cream, and Thunderbolt. We have Munchies, the Snorlax with Earthquake, Surf, Amnesia, and Body Slam. We have Ixion, uh, the uh, Jolteon with Thunder Wave, Double Kick, Thunderbolt, and Quick Attack. And finally, we have Messenger, the, um, the Dragonite. Uh, with Thunderbolt, Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, and Thunder Wave. So that is going to be our team for this episode today. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and cut right here and bring us through to the Gym Leader battles like I did previously. So I'll be right back when we have the Gym Leader ready to go. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We're back with Brock for round two. Let's do this. The first Gym Battle of the Kanto League. We're up against Brock, who has an obsession with women. He could be a pedophile. No, I'm not saying that. Alright, so let's see. Goldbat, Onyx, Golem, Ninetales, Dunk, Trio, and um, Star. Oh my god, a star. <laughs> Alrighty, so looking at this here, I think definitely Leviathan seems to be the most viable Pokemon here. Followed by Hokage. And then we'll bring in Deku Bush. Deku Bush. Deku Bush. Well, let's see how we do. We'll go for a Thunderbolt. The only problem is this Omastar does pack the Rock Slide, which does pack quite a bit of damage to my Leviathan. And that does jack shit. God damn. Let's go ahead and swap into Deku Bush, just because I feel like a Rock Slide is coming our way, so... And that Thunderbolt clearly shows you that's going to do jack shite. Venusaur. Ice Beam? Yo! The predictions... The predictions are real in this game! What the fuck? Let's go for a Mega Drain. I'm pretty sure we should have speed and Omastar. If we don't, we should probably predict that and go for a Sleep Powder, but holy fuck! Close this fucker would be here. God dang it. Quad resistance gonna do jack duty. Jack duty. Alright, so 
Um, what move would he go for? He could go for Wing Attack. Let's go for Sleep Powder. For super damage, a Sleep Powder is going to do the Skull Bat. He's obviously going to have speed. We're going to go for. He's going to go for a Confuse Ray. Hopefully, we can fight through it. Hopefully, we do. We land this. Perfect. We'll go ahead and swap into Yonami Hokage! Gengar. And um, hopefully the gold belt will stay safe for at least one turn. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and fire off a big sidekick to this gold belt here, because really, not the only team really wants to take a sidekick, except. Yeah, no, nothing wants to take a sidekick there. So. Even if he wakes up now, we are still good. Alright, so we're going to fire up the Psychic and we're going to kill his goal back with no issues. Boom! Lick that ground. Oh, he's a big Kiss fan, as you can tell. Alright, so... Overstar is making its return. Let's go for a Mega Drain, which should be quite effective, but hopefully we can get the kill on this Overstar. Not enough. Overstar! Its mouth has four panels. <laughs> Alright, let's go for another Mega Drain, and that should kill the Overstar and leave us with the last Pookie Man. You get a stiff neck, you gotta crack it, that's how it is. Last Pokemon is an Onyx. Oh, it's Onyx. <laughs> Typical Brock. Onyx, I choose you! Mega Drain! Well, that tells you how useful Onyx is. We got a perfect against Brock. What do you mean he's the first gym leader? I mean, it's not so hard to believe that. Really? Is it that hard to believe? Really you have that much faith in me? Yeah, we'll fuck. No. Nah. Alright, so next we have Misty, so we'll be right back when Misty is in our sights and good to go. Okay, we are back. We are back with Misty here, raring to go. She's kind of giving the kawaii look there. So let's go ahead and get this battle started. Gym battle number two. She has some very threatening Pokemon. She has an Executor. She got the Starmie Doe. She got the Dugtrio for the Electric Types. Yo! Alright, so... I would definitely think it would be in our interest to start off with... With... I think Munchies actually might actually be pretty good at this matchup. So, we'll start with Messenger. Bring in Munchies. And we'll bring Leviathan. Even though Iction would be terrific for this battle, I just got a feeling that something's going to screw around with like the Doug Trio or something, you know? And there's the Executor. Executor. So let's go for this Ice Beam. Let's see how much damage it does to an Executor, because Executor has a lot of special. Let's see how much damage it does. Yep, <laughs> just over 100 damage, and it has Reflect. So if we ever had an opportunity to go ahead and attack it from its defensive side, well, that's been taken away. So that does roughly 120... I mean, that just receptive reflect, so that's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. But we're going to fire with an ice beam anyway. We've got the, we've got the um, Thunderbolt there anyways. My only issue is if it has ice beam, which I'm pretty sure it does. Our speed goes for Psychic, not ice beam, so that works for me. My only issue would have been if you got a special drop that and I would be pissed. We're gonna go for Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. That annoys me just a little bit. Now this Thunderbolt will definitely not kill. That crit will though! 
Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Let's go, people! So it looks like he didn't even bring the Doug Trio, so that's actually kind of hilarious. The fact that he didn't bring the Doug Trio. So actually, the. Well, I mean, Venusaur was still would have struggled against the Executor, so I guess it's a good thing. Because there's no really good poison type moves except like Acid and Sludge. But this Blaster is going to go for setup of the damn Seismic Toss. So he got the extra leg up on us. Let's go ahead and fire off the Thunderbolt of our own with our Gyarados. Last was our speed to Gyarados? Hey, there's no items back in this gen. What the fuck? Gyarados should outspeed a Blastoise. That's by nature. That does just to be a half, so one more Thunderbolt should get the KO on the Blastoise. I'm surprised Blastoise uh, outspeeds. Far be for me to say, but I just thought Gyarados would just naturally outspeed. Don't know the case. Apparently. Apparently. Crit didn't matter, it would have killed either way, because I mean, it went from 171, from 343 to 171, so that means it did 172. So, could have been a, a 1 damage, 2 damage roll. Executor! We're not going for perfect, perfect doesn't really matter, I'm just going to fire off this Ice Beams anyways. Probably should have gone for Fire Blast. Forget the freeze though. Yep. No freeze, but that's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Leviathan, the great Leviathan. You were great. Let's bring in Munchies. Munchies. Hmm. Let's go for a body slam. Mega Drain, you bitch. You ain't getting shit for my executor. Yeah. One more body slam will clinch it. Fantastic job, Snorlax. Fantastic job. Yeah. Alrighty-o then. Well then. We've beat Misty, now next is Lieutenant Surge, so we'll be right back when Lieutenant Surge is ready to go. Okay, we are back with Lieutenant Surge, raring to go, let's do this, gym battle number three against Lieutenant Surge, and more likely he's Pokemon that right, he's definitely packing the surf, I can tell from a mile away, okay, so, Electro, Polyrath, Tangela, Electabuzz, Electung, and Electro, 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 I love song, uh, <laughs> Fortunately, we don't have a ground immunity, but that, that wouldn't matter. So let's go ahead and start off with Messenger, then Munchies, and then Hokage. The great Hokage. Here he is, Lieutenant Surge, the leader of Vermilion Gym, and the commander of Electric Pokemon. The challenger better pick the battle Pokemon. Electabuzz, or as the anime would have you believe it. <laughs> Toxic. Oh boy. Going for the stall variant. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave. Alrighty, so let's see what this Electabuzz wants to do. We'll go ahead and fire off an Ice Beam. Ice Beam! Ice Beam! <laughs> that does jack shit. What the fuck? These Pokemon are all jacked up. Let's go for another Ice Beam. 
Two hits going to halfway, so not the worst, but it depends how much damage he does now with this seismic toss. It's a seismic toss, calms yourself down on the outside. Let's go for a hyper beam, this hyper beam should finish off the electabuzz. There we go. So because that we killed him, we don't take poison damage on this turn, so... Haha, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen mechanics! Well, we can't do anything, so really, this Electro is just gonna go for dum dum. Alright, so all I can do now is hope for him to miss this thunder and we can land a thunder wave and we'll be aces. We'll be aces. The thunder. Please miss, please. Yep, and that's why you don't use thunder. Thunder wave! I could have gone for a hyper beam, but thunder wave just ensures us being able to outspeed the electro. That's all. I'd rather play it safe, be able to outspeed the electrode. With this Snorlax. Snorlax! Let's go, Munchies! Oh, Alright! Well, if you saw the Sun and Moon trailer, I want your pancakes! Let's go, Earthquake! Boom. One more will do it. Just gonna go with a Thunder! Ooh, a crit. So that kind of makes up for the fact he missed two thunders, so I guess that's okay. There goes the second electric type. What's the last one? Is it the Raichu? Is it the Raichu? Is it the Raichu? Is it the Raichu? Yes, it's the Raichu. Raichu, 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 Raichu. So my munchies will have a field day. We can get one earthquake fired off. He should be able to live one thunderbolt from right unless he gets the crit. There we go. Knew was gonna live. That's why I wasn't worried. Earthquake go. That crit though. That just sped up the process. Yay! And Snorlax takes it once again. Good job, Snorlax. You're doing fantastical. Fantastical. I mean, Gengar could have finished it off, but fantastic. I do like them connected with it. So yes, I do. Yes, I do. The million gym battle, clear. Next up is Erica, the grass type gym leader. So we'll be right back when she's all grassy, peachy, and good to go. Erica's back! Dun, 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 dun. Erica's back! Dun, 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 dun. Get her butt whipped! Dun, 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 dun. By Sharpie! No! Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we're back with Erica and let's see. Volplink for Fable Tangler, Victory Bell Executor in Dugong. Dugong, gong, gong, gong! Okay, so I think Leviathan, Messenger, and. Or Card Game. Definitely be the way they go. Thank you too. Let's go for that mighty fire blast. Fire blast should do quite a bit of damage, more than ice beam, because fire blast has more base power. Whoa, like a bad Just under half. Yeah, that's that's about right. I do such it. Let's go for the fire blast. Bring down the executor down to ice beam range, and then ice beam should get the kill. Ooh! Well, I mean, that works out. I mean... The reason why the camera angle is pulled out that way is because of Gyarados. I'm bringing Hokage, I guess, because that's really the only threat that I had for Gengar, so now that that's gone... Gengar should have 
better time. No, they are not. No, this Pokemon looks wrong. That does about half. Oh boy. No. Ah! Bitch! But what could he do? He's got nothing that could touch it, so we should be fine. He's just delaying the inevitable. Live. Yup. And one more psychic should kill this ball plume. What's this? It didn't do much damage. <sighs> A psychic blast. Super effective. Yes, it is. Oh, is it down and out? <laughs> Victory Bell. Another Pokemon that cannot touch. Hokage. Great. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle continues. What will it do? Damn the weak spot. What now? Ooh. That Ooh, damn. The Victory Bell's got quite a bit of special, so you know. Yes, it was. How's that? Now, that's an effective hit. Oh, it's down. Yay. That's it. Stay clear. Yonder me, Hokage. Great job, buddy. With that, we secure ourselves the win against the fourth gym leader of Erica. Alright, so now we are down to the fifth gym leader, which is Koga. So we'll be right back when Koga has us in his sights. Okay, we're back. Koga's here. The ninja has showed himself. So we're here for the fifth gym battle against Koga. Venomop, Muck, Weezing, Hypno, Tangula, and Parasect. Parasect. So Leviathan definitely is up there. Actually, we'll start with Hokage. Hokage, Leviathan, and uh. <coughs> Ill, gee, she needs me. <sighs> See you next time. I'll use this towel heat one. Uh, uh, my apologies about that. Yeah. Alright. So now that we're here, let's see. So we have Leviathan, Hokage. Last Pokemon, let's go with Munchies. I do apologize about that. Ugh. Ugh, jeez. Uh, let's go ahead and swap into Munchies, because I feel like a Psychic is going to rock from a Hypno on Hokage. Uh. Alright, so that's psychic. Did, yeah, he did quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead and fire off a body slam. I can't believe we have speed hypno. Oh! But that's psychic did quite a Oh, fuck! That's why it fucking outsped. Jesus Christ! I'm thinking, why the hell is it outspeeding a hypno? Because he went for fucking counter. Sneaky, 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 sneaky fucker. Let's go for a body slam. Let's hope we can paralyze this bitch. Let's go! Nope. Nope. Let's go for an earthquake. Hopefully this will take care of the muck. 
But he's gonna take care of us with the sludge. Well, that's one way to take care of Snorlax. Let's go with the Hokage! Pokemon. So, Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray will definitely... Even if this Muck must stay in, he can't do much to a Gengar. What are you going to do? Minimize. Oh, you little bitch. Psychic is ass. Some bitch. Which Pokemon is coming out? More likely the Hypno is coming back. I can't believe he fucking encountered him. What a son of a bitch. I swear to God. I mean, it was good of preparation, but fuck off. What a piece of shit. Let's go ahead and go to Confuse Ray on this Hypno. Let's see if we can get one turn of confusion, please. Here we go. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Let's go for that thunderbolt. And the crit didn't kill. Oh my. Uh oh. Please live. Oh, that special drop could. I mean. First turn, it doesn't do much, but depending on what he has last, could be a defining factor. Ends the race. So he took care of the Hypno, that was a little bit of the Crit Thunderbolt, but I think two Thunderbolts would have done the damage, so the Crit really was irrelevant. But, let's see what his last Pokemon is now. Well, ain't that a little bitch. So this Psychic will not get the kill on this Venomoth whatsoever. I doubt it will. What's that? For the special drop. <laughs> they even do jack shit. God damn. But this psychic will kill. Wow, that's an hit. It's so now down to our Leviathan versus his Venomoth. Funny enough, his key Pokemon Venomoth up against our Leviathan Gyarados. Oh, it's Gyarados. <laughs> Let's go for a Fire Blast. He has speed. I don't know why. Fuck, he got the special drop. Are you fucking serious? Can this Fire Blast land, please? Just That's, that's all I ask for. But he doesn't get the kill because of that. Okay. Let's go for an Ice Beam and follow up with the burn damage. That should actually do the damage to Venom. Ice Beam should get the kill. Let's do this. I swear to god if this Venomoth does kill me, I'm gonna be pissed off like a motherfucker. The bird got the kill. Two special drops. What a bitch. What a bitch! But we managed to get the win, that's the important thing, so no harm, no foul. We won, we move along, great. Okay! And Koga is defeated. Yay! And next we have Sabrina, so we'll be back with Sabrina. When we come back, we'll do it, we'll do a repeat what we did last time, so we'll be with Sabrina. Right. Now! Oh, we're back for a match with Sabrina. Oh my gosh, people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Playing this can be a little bit frustrating because of all the gym lead, all the people you get about before you get to the gym lead. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, what the fuck? Alright, so, Iction, Munchies, and we'll go to Messenger. That'll be our team. And there we go. Let's there we go. Ah, oh, it's Executor. Alright. Well, Action really can't do much against this Pokemon, so... 
predicting the grass top move, I'm going to swap into Messenger. And we'll see how we go with that. Let's see how we go with that. <sighs> Let's go Dragonite! Messenger! We got a message, we're going to fuck you up. We're going to fuck you up! Why does this always happen? Why? Why does this always happen? Why? Why does Executor feel the need to just blow up? It happened with Erica, and it's happening here. And now I lost my messenger because of it. Munchies will be able to live at least two psychics from an Alakazam, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Alakazam, though, won't be able to live two body slams. Let's just hope. Let's go for a body slam on this Alakazam, and let's see how we go. He goes for a psychic. We see that. Yep, like I said, we can live two psychics. That's fine. Can you live two body slams, though? Ooh! Whoa! We got the crit! Let's go, Munchies! Let's fucking go! Alexander was one of the Pokemon that actually, Executor and Alexander were like the biggest Pokemon I was worried about. So, holy shit, that takes a lot of tension off my mind right now. It really does. Alright, let's go for a body slam, because now we should have this in the bag. We should have this in the bag. Keyword is should. Psychic. That does just about 150, so I don't think Snorlax will be living at two psychics for Mr. Mine. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Munchies! Let's go! Wow! Are you serious? We live in! Let's go! <laughs> we get the paralysis on one HP. <laughs> oh, Snorlax, let's go, buddy, let's go! <laughs> yes! We did it! Woo! Let's go! Gym badge number six in our pockets. Woo! Alright, so good game Sabrina, fuck you, let's get out of here, move along here, let's move along here. Okay, now we are up against Blaine, the cinema gym leader, so I'll be right back once Blaine is blazing to go. Okay, we're back for Blaine blazing to go, burning up, bruising us up for another beat, I don't know. But here we are, we do have Blaine over here, ready to go here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So Charizard, Magma, Rapidash, Chansey, Tangela, and Parapasic. So, definitely a lot of threats on his team here. The biggest worry I have is at Rapidash, because of Horn Drill from our uh, experiences with some of the gym, from all the trainers from Sabrina's gym. Um, and that Chansey could be a bit of a problem, so we're definitely going to bring Munchies, because Munchies is definitely going to be playing a big part in this battle. So, we'll bring in Leviathan, we'll bring in Munchies, and we'll bring in... Yondami Hokage! Fire Blast. Oh no! Let's go! Let's go! Wait to Gen 4 Tangler, then you get better. I'm just hoping he didn't bring the Chansey. That Chansey's gonna be the one thing that's gonna irk me. 
Oh, look at the horn drill specialist I was telling you guys about. Hey! And there it is! Fuck you! Oh my god! Fuck you, asshole! God damn! Fucking hell! Are you serious? Am I seriously gonna lose this battle because of that? Are you serious? Are we serious? Fucking hell! What a piece of shit! Before you guys go, well, if you thought he were Horn Drill, why don't you go for Gengar? Well, I wanted to make sure, okay? It has a 30% accuracy, which is jack shit! God damn- oh my god, I'm gonna have this bullshit now. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a load of fun. This is gonna be a load of fun if I ever saw any. Fuck this piece of shit! Fuck! Ugh. This is pretty much like the Prime Cup of Round 1, where we're having a Rapid Dash being the biggest fucking bitch in the game. Like, seriously. I know Fightspeed has 15 PP. That's two. I can't stand cheap tactics like this. I really can't. I'm so glad they improved this in Gen 2. They just make it you can't swap. Not that it's fucking repeating and repeating and repeating. Because Toxic plus Fire Spin is just a total cunt of the strategy. Ugh. That's three. Get for confused, right? I have to break the stupid cycle. This is number four. What will it do? A light hit. It can't make a move. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Blaine, why must you dick me so hard? Seriously, fuck. That's why the rapid dash has got a horn, because it likes to fuck people over with this stupid strategy. Just a just a assumption, of course. Oh, rapid dash. Oh, now he's going for horn drill. Thank you. Eat a big floppy dick. Fuck you. Hopefully that kills. It doesn't. Fuck! Oh, please don't horn drill me. Oh, he's going to back to fire spin. Oh, well, well, if horn drill doesn't work, we're going to fire spin. I mean, that's just, that's just, you know, common sense. I mean, yeah. Ah! Probably should have gone for Body Slam to try and chance the Paralysis, but I thought Earthquake might have actually been able to Oko, but that doesn't seem like it's the case today. I think a Psychic should be enough to kill at this point. Thank you. Fuck you, asshole. Can this kill, please? Nope, it's not gonna kill. Okay. Just go in a hole and die, Rapidash. Nobody wants you here. Fuck you! Fucking Rapidash. Eat the fucking dick! Eat a fucking dick and die, son of a bitch! Oh, honestly, people! It's how he's are. Let's go straight for Thunderbolts. How does it outspeed? We're a Gengar! Did you see my Charizard didn't outspeed shit? Oh, let's see the Thunderbolt. Ooh, yeah! That's for Rapidash! Ooh! Uh, 
can't stand bullshit like that. Fuck you, Rapidash. Fuck you, Blaine. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. That is why I cannot take Gen 1 competitive battling seriously. Because it's like, all you do is that, and that's it. Alright, so next battle up is against Giovanni. And finally, if it only has one end, I thought Giovanni has two ends. But anyway, we'll be right back when we have the final gym leader of Kanto, Raider Battle. Okay, we're back. Final battle for Kanto. Let's do this against Giovanni. Let's see what battle, what kind of Pokemon. Oh, shit. Yeah, not liking what I'm seeing. I'm <laughs> just gonna be honest, I don't like what I'm seeing right now. <gasps> no, that's terrifying. Uh. Alright, let's go with Iction for the paralysis. Leviathan for the see the water type weakness. And so many ground types. I don't want to bring Gengar, but if he brings Gengar, we're pretty screwed. I'll bring a messenger. For the extra paralysis. Let's do this! The final gym leader, Jibang, the dawn of brown Pokemon. Taurus. Challenger has to work hard for the win. I'm gonna scout for the paralysis. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the messenger. I'm gonna scout for the earthquake. Does this Taurus pack the earthquake? Does he? He does! He does have the Earthquake! Alright. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave and- OH MY GOD HE'S GOT BLIZZARD! No! Messenger, you got this! It's not stab! Oh. What the fuck? This Taurus is on steroids! I'm gonna go for a Hyper Beam. Fuck this guy! Fuck his bullshit. Hyper Beam, let's go! Oh yeah! Whoa! A crit Hyper Beam doesn't kill! Yo, that's nuts! I'm bringing action, fuck it! God damn! A Taurus lives a crit Hyper Beam from a Dragonite. And this is why Taurus was one of my favorite Pokemon Gen 1. Like, seriously, he can take hits like a motherfucker. I was gonna say, if that didn't kill, I'd be in a whirlwind of trouble right here. But that Taurus is gone. Oh, I, I, I can take a big sigh of relief right now, knowing that's gone. Because that is a big threat. Next is Persian. Now I wish I brought the Gengar. No, I wish I brought the Gengar. Just because I know Persians' attacks are going to do a lot of damage to us. What? Let's see how much our Thunderbolt does. Ooh! Well, that looks like two Thunderbolts will get the, co the KO. God damn, Persian, calm down! I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt and hope this Thunderbolt is enough to get the kill. I did 150. Oh wait, that's not nothing. The crit mattered. The crit actually matters. So from 317 to 163, quick math, that's 154. So that crit actually mattered. <laughs> Unless we just got like our highest of rolls. Oh wow. Well, we got Garrida, so I guess we got this either way then. So that's great. Thunderbolt. Whoa! Back to back crit Jolteon! Well, I didn't want to chance this monster was having fire spins or anything, so I'm just glad that kind of worked out the way it did. Even though I know it's crits, I know it's crits, I hate crits, hacks crits, yes, I know, bullshit, yada yada, yeah, you're a hacksy god, yeah, whatever. no, I'm not. I just got crits, Gen 1 crits are ridiculous. So. For well, the second time we are going to face off the Elite Four, but we'll save that for the next episode. So I will say thank you very much for enjoying today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, 
make sure you hit like button down below for us because as always your support is greatly appreciated next episode we are going to take on the illustrious elite four so until the next time i see you guys stay safe stay sharp and i'll catch you guys all next time later